A real life Batman pleads not guilty to obstruction of justice charges. Let's talk about that. I'm Danica. And I'm Curie. We're from Chicago, Illinois. Good mythical morning. Good mythical morning. This episode is brought to you by Catulas.com, the guys with the goods. Where else can you get a mug shaped like a grenade that says, Complaint Department, please take a number. Oh, I get it. Yeah, you get it? Like, it would explode on you. Welcome, friends. Today is Bring a Friend to GMM Day, and if you are a mythical beast who invited a friend, and you... Thank you. Thank you for that. If you're that friend, welcome, friend. Welcome. Guys, listen, I, I hate to break it to you. You have one week and one day to you need, submit you your You need to be more welcoming. Supernova. You need to be more welcoming. I'm moving on. Get your mouth down here close to this. I'm trying thing. to be ser- No, your mouth is I'm moving my mouth away. You get your mouth close to say, welcome, friends. Welcome, friends. No, more gentle. Welcome, friends. That's it. I was trying to tell him about Supernote. I needed to get serious here. You have a week and a day to submit your mythical Supernote. Join Team Mythical Beast. Hold out and know as long as you can. Even if it's short, it contributes to the goal of us winning, or maybe at this point it's just uh, keeping some sort of dignity and not being last. Yeah, not being embarrassed. Supernote it. Uh, Link, there is a man uh, that has been in the news a lot this year. I haven't heard about him. I try to... I try to Keep my distance from news of such things. Uh, his name is Mark Wayne Williams. His middle name is Wayne. Well, that's what he says it is. And uh, he lives in Petoskey, Michigan. I think that's how you say Petoskey. And he has been dressing up as the Batman. That's how I refer to Batman because that's how they call him in the movies. Mm-hmm. The Batman. Mm-hmm. My favorite superhero, the superior one, and the uh, Batman. And so t- he's smart. Right off the bat, he's smart. He's chosen a good superhero okay, to well, become. Would you like to retract your statement after seeing a picture of this man? You said right off the bat, he's smart. Well, I, I didn't say he looked smart. Okay. I just said he was smart. Yeah. You know, looks can be deceiving. Well, he can in be- this case, that's what you're banking on. Right. Uh, so anyway, this guy, uh, over maybe sometime in the last year, he was found... <sighs> Hanging from the side of a building in Michigan. with Up, a, Upside down? I don't think so. With a baton-type striking weapon, a can of chemical irritant spray, and a pair of lead-lined gloves. Are, are we sure this isn't the real Batman? Because this sounds exactly like a legitimate operation here. Uh, no. Lead-lined glove? What's he doing, like handling uranium or something? This is not the real Batman, because this is what he looked like. <laughs> no, that's 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 him. That is the real Batman. I've seen the movies. What is that? Is that bat on his chest made out of duct tape or? It's some kind of it's, maybe like a leather material. But to me, the thing that really stands out are his pit stains. He's he's working hard at this. He's working very hard. He's working up a sweat. Being Batman ain't easy. You know, there's lots of anxiety associated with it. Lots of stress. And I like the way he lets his mullet come out the back. You see that? You can kind of see that in the picture there. He, his mullet sort of protrudes from the back. Where did this picture come from? Was this like on his Facebook page? Uh, no, this was taken when he was... He's, he's all over the place up there in Petoskey. I mean, he's, he's, he makes regular appearances. Oh, really? As Batman, I believe, yeah. But okay. anyway, so he was arrested and he was sentenced to six months probation. During- arrested for what? Being Batman? You can't do that. I think it must have been tr- trespassing. You can't just hang from the side of any building unless you like the owner of the building. Good point. And so he was sentenced to six month probation, in which time he was forbidden to wear his Batman costume. Then he would he so he couldn't wear his Batman costume in well, it says you couldn't wear it at all. He's probably wearing it at home, but yeah. he couldn't wear it in public. Then he comes out of hiding. He comes back recently, the beginning of October, and look at his new get up. Not only has he oh, upgraded wow. his suit significantly, he now has Batgirl with him. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at this. Wow, look at her. This is almost legitimate at this point. His thighs are are bigger than I thought they'd be, too. He's covered up the mullet. He's got it concealed in there. He has an actual Batman symbol at this point. Can I retract my statement about his thighs? I'd rather not have a comment about me commenting on his thighs. You can retract anything anything you want. I mean, cut it out of the episode. So anyway, this guy, uh, about a month ago... 
he's out there wandering the streets, wandering the streets <laughs> with a. Well, he's uh, pat let's say patrolling. He's patrolling the streets with Batgirl, and they come up upon a scene of a car, a wreck. Oh. And, and basically, the guy in the in the car wreck has has fled the scene, and so he's coming to find him. He comes up there, and he's like, "I, you know, I found." This car that had wrecked, and me and Batgirl decided we were going to try to track this this guy down. But Sergeant Jeff Gorno says he's a he's a police officer, Sergeant. Okay. He says he wouldn't clear the scene, and we had a canine out there, and he kept screwing up the scent. And I think again, go back to his original costume. I think the reason <laughs> he was screwing up the scent is because yeah, the pieces are falling into place. He here. gives off he gives off a lot of bo. <laughs> I don't think he's gotten rid of the bo with his new costume. He's just. Concealing it a little bit better. It's his odorang. He's throwing his odorang, and it's and it's throwing off the dogs. So he has been arrested again, mm. and uh, the bat costume, Batman costume, has been confiscated. Interestingly enough, Batgirl was not arrested. She is still roaming the streets, protecting the people of Petoskey. So that, that's the silver lining in this whole whole thing. But this whole situation got me thinking about you, Link. Not just because your favorite superhero is Batman, but because as we have established on some previous episodes, you are a bit of a local hero yourself. You have saved the lives of two motorists. Yeah, that's stranded, probably stranded motorists. It's a very sensational way to say that you helped out some people who were stranded motorists. I, I mean, I pushed two vehicles off, off, off the thoroughfare. Yep, like that. Just, I mean, I probably looked like a superhero doing it. Well, like, look at that guy pushing a vehicle. In your own mind, maybe. With another guy helping him. But this is really Downhill. It's pretty amazing, I would think. I, if I had footage of it, I would, I'd probably be proud of it. But here's the thing. You're, you're not establishing any reputation for yourself. Because you're just, that guy with the glasses. That's, the glasses and the V-neck guy. That's, there's nothing there. There's nothing to latch on to there, yeah. you know? Which, so okay. I suggested recently that you should wear a cape or some sort of uniform of some kind. But I think this is your opportunity to go all the way and to like be superhero traffic saving man. And you got to be smarter than Mark Wayne Williams. You're not going to go up to like the scene of, of of a wreck and like track down, try to track the guy down. You're just there to help. And I don't think you need to go with an established superhero uh, outfit because that's when you draw the wrong kind of attention. You need to adopt your own kind of persona with just a, some accoutrements. Is that a correct? Is that a correct? I word? could wear a safety cone on my head and cut two holes for the eyes. You'll kind of look like a Ku Klux Klan member if you do that. Okay, scratch that. Don't, don't do that. Um, well, that that was pretty much my only idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think in the least you should wear an orange safety vest. Okay, orange safety, but a mask too, right? Some sort of a mask. If you wore an orange, you got to protect your identity. If you wore an orange safety vest and a cape. Because no regular safety worker has a cape. When you have a cape, you're you are, and an orange mask. Okay, you want to conceal your identity? I have to. What superhero doesn't conceal his identity, right? But is it going to be just like just an eye mask, or is it full? What what part of your face is going to be exposed? Well, all of it except the eyes. It's some. It's just a conventional mask. I, I'll conceal my nose too because I think it's pretty signature. And here's the real question: What am I going to wear? You can wear a cone with two <laughs> holes cut in the eyes. Because listen, I'm, you're going to be there. What are you going to? I'm volunteering to be your sidekick. Okay. Because okay. I don't think there's ever been a six foot seven sidekick. All right. So you can you can help me push the cars. Because that's pretty much all I do is I get out of my car and then I push other. Well, what am cars. I going to wear? Um, I would like to wear something tight. Tight on the body. I I, I want no no sidekick to wear spandex with me. Okay, we can't decide what we need to look like. So, Mythical Beast, we are going to hand this over to you. Yes, we've played superheroes before, but this is different. This is Link as Traffic Man, or whatever you want to be called. Yeah, we got to come up with a traffic Traffic Man. That's good. Traffic Man? Yeah, it's the first thing that came to your mind. I think it's good. And I and, and I'm his... and Conehead, and uh, Cone Boy. Okay, Traffic. <laughs> Put traffic a safety cone man on. and Cone Boy. <laughs> Please, on the community, please draw Traffic Man and Cone Boy. Traffic Cone on his head. To, don't make it look like anything KKK-ish, but... That's what. That's all we got for you today, people. I mean, it's the be you, you have to take it from here, you know? We're passing the baton. Rhett is an amateur dentist. Uh, 
you know what? I'm glad this is over because I need to go to the dentist. I forgot to tell you, I've got this right, don't, pain back here. Hey, like, I have, listen, I didn't tell I, you. I, I've been reading a lot of Wikipedia uh, articles about dental things, and I can handle it. Just here, open your mouth. Okay. I, I don't have dental insurance, right? I've got, <laughs> I have a large horn. I need to listen. I need to listen to the back of your throat here. I hear a plaque in there. Now, right. now I use this end that I just stuck in my ear to get it off. Oh, God. Uh...